Wasn't it Prince? Uh. I have no clue. here in the high desert again at Jersey's garage supposedly starting his own YouTube time will tell but it is time to turn to his new project this is Jersey's garage not the Fountain Fox garage this is much different than the last time we saw it too this is way better that is true so for all 28 of you who watch my videos <laughs> when you go back to like I think it's like the first or second legit Fountain Fox garage episode it was here in the yeah it was in the here of this there was no door we talked about um, the motor, but we already talked about what happened to that. So we, I won't, I won't bring shame to him. This is the new project. He's gonna get it done. Uh, it is a '99 Subaru Forester L. He said with a 2.5 liter. Yeah. 2.5 liter boxer motor, right? Bo yeah. These are boxers. Sorry. I enjoy Subarus just like I enjoy almost any other car, but I don't know much about them, which is one of the reasons I'm really excited to do this with him. Other than just you know the whole point of. My YouTube channel is to document me working on cars with my best friends. So that's really all this is. So I forgot where I was going with that. Okay, automatic transmission, all wheel drive. He really wants manual. I think he should just leave it, it's fine. But this thing, I really dig this. I think this has potential. We were talking briefly about what- <laughs> Just block the- Oh no, no, you gotta, you gotta show. It's got some beauty marks. Um, this is some great uh, Bondo right there. Ooh. You actually cracked Sorry about that, buddy. You actually didn't even hurt that fender. It really didn't. <laughs> but anyway, so this has potential. We were talking briefly about his outline of the car. I'll say outline because we never really my build. Yeah, my build. We outline. yeah, we don't we don't commit too much to certain parts just because of the way it worked. But his basic outline is to use a lot of old OEM parts to clean up this old car. He wants to do the STI seats, right? Yeah. STI yeah. seats. Any of the early 2000s STI seats. Okay, and then uh, same thing with the wheels, just you know, freshen it up and make it a really nice cruiser. I mean, this car has a lot of potential and we just need to get it there. But they say that you can run all of the stock stuff on the EJ253 on an EJ205 and you will lose some power, but I'm not really, I'm not going for power on this wagon. Just going for a nice daily. Yeah, it is currently 11.36 on, we'll, we'll call it half a day one. 11.36, <laughs> I just drove two hours to get here after working all day. It's 11.36, so we're gonna tear into the car, see how far we get in the next half hour, hour, who knows how long we're out here. How long does it take for a guy to take out his own horn? Oh, there he goes. Okay, first trash, picture trash.
All right, what's going on? It's now the next morning and, or next afternoon, because we had a bunch of errands to run. So last night, I'll show you guys what we did. We got, we worked for a while off camera. Um, we got the intake off, the AC compressor, alternator, all that stuff. Basically the entire front dress off the motor and top dress since it's a boxer motor. So we're still working. We're still working towards getting this thing pulled out. Hopefully we'll get it pulled out today, if not tonight. So we're gonna get back to work and hopefully have this motor out in no time at all. We have gotten six bell housing bolts, I think. Right? There's four. Okay, so we got. Oh, no, 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 no. Bell, are you talking about... Yeah, no, yeah. There's six bell housing bolts. Okay, out of the six bell housing bolts, we've gotten five of them off. Five. And uh, the last one on the driver's side is being uh, a jerk, for lack of a better term. Basically, because uh, down there, where Jersey is, hi, Jersey, down there, Facing this way is the CV axle is going this way. The nut is right here. We can't get it off. So pretty much now we're gonna have to add 30 minutes to our work or longer probably knowing us because I think we're gonna have to take the wheel off and take that CV axle out so we can get the nut off in order to then take the last two motor mount bolts out and finally liberate this old motor from its home. Because we've tried everything. And when I mean everything, I mean everything. Uh, this is not how a universal is supposed to look. Um, yeah, that's mint condition right there. You know, it's usually supposed to kind of look like that. So, so we're gonna get to doing that now. I just wanted to uh, check in, update you guys, cause that's what we're here for. So Raising the production value is what we're doing. <laughs> I would, don't I, bump into it. I would put another one on it just to be safe. The moment has come to pull out the motor. Well, well, you have to get under and do the last yep. two motor ones. Yep. And then so pull it. 14. So what happens when your motor mounts won't come out? We were like, oh, there's only two bolts left in the motor mount. We're good. It'll be fine. Yeah. Um, they're completely round. Dirty yeah, we're on day three now. And day three start is starting pretty much the same way that day two ended with uh, a lot of sparks and cuss words and trying to break out some bolts for the motor mounts. And so, yeah, we're going to get back to that. And now hopefully in now the next hour, like... I said yesterday, uh, hopefully within an hour we'll have a motor out. But who knows?
We did it! This journey, I've been on since 13. Working hard and learning. Never stopping searching. It's burning. All this passion hurts me. I tell you I'm working. Riding down this road. No, I'm not okay. I just want to be so Boom, so we got the motor out, guys. We finally liberated the old EJ25. So it's in pretty bad shape. I don't remember if we showed you guys earlier. That is an absurd amount of coolant in the cylinder head where it's not supposed to be. And uh, that's what it's normally supposed to look like. So yeah. So right now we're gonna put the car back together, move it outside. Jersey's already trying to put the uh, strut back together or strut back on we're gonna move the car outside clean the garage and then we'll get we'll drain the oil and i think that's where we might probably wrap up for a day but we'll see how the rest of this goes 